And life in the neighborhood was tough. You know, like fitting in with other people, you had all oh, this, this brand new sneakers, a brand new coat. You wanna be liked by everyone else, but they really don't care about you, man. When I was in high school, I wasn't a good kid nor a bad kid. I was in the middle. Some days I'll say, I'll wake up and be like, oh, let me be positive today. The next day I'll say, oh, I'm not talking to no one. I'm, I'm, I'm ignore the world. It was tough. It felt like I had no one to talk to. I mean, I had friends, but I wasn't like being loved. I felt like I'm in an island all alone. Nobody wants to help me, no one wants to feed me. No one wants me to get out that island. God works in mysterious ways, man. I met Albert when I was in ninth grade. He was a volunteer leader. Alberto's the guy that I could come to if I have any questions or problems. And I don't know, he'll sit down and give me suggestions. When I see Alberto, I see Christ in him. Every time I see him, he's like with open arms, like saying, how, how you been, man? And like, I trust him with like my deepest, darkest secret. He wants to know the real me. He wants to know about like, like who I am, the characteristics. He's also making me a better like older brother for my, my siblings and a better son. And he's also like helping me to become a reflection of, of Christ to my family. Like I struggle with that sometimes, but he, he's always helping me out with that. Young Life is, is more than just having fun at club. The talks that they do, it's relatable to what people live in. If I never got introduced to Young Life or build a relationship with Alberto, right now I'll probably be wasting life, smoking, drinking, doing all that, all that stuff. But now instead I'm taking responsibilities. Now I'm a leader and I lead because I want others to see when they see me to be a reflection of Christ. And I just want to tell them about how much God, he loves them, like, and he wants them to enjoy life powerfully.